Hey guys, this is Wayne here with Tri County Locksmith Service, and today we are checking out the Taylor Technologies uh, Battery Testing Analyzer or E Lock Battery Analyzer. The E Lock Battery Analyzer is designed to test a 9 volt battery under a load by simulating power demands of an electro similar to an electronic safe lock during an opening and closing cycle like a Sergeant Greenleaf 6120. It's a motor driven lock. It's going to draw a lot of power and a lot of current from that lock or from that battery to be able to run that properly. Uh, it will immediately tell you if there's a particular battery that will perform uh, in most modern <clears throat> motorized or solenoid based electronic locks. So basically we just connect our battery to this machine and this is what's crazy about this is you can get a whole box of batteries right off the the shelf at a store and you can actually get significantly different results based off of batteries in the same package even batteries brand new just opened like these here right out of the package can read differently. Uh, so this Duracell right here, this is a Duracell that comes with um, a lot of locks. You can tell it's got the, it's not for individual resell and it just looks different. Like this is one that you would buy from the store uh, and this is one that would come with some kind of a, a lock normally. So we're getting, we want uh, a 7.0 volts or higher uh, is recommended. So right here, you can see we've got the battery attached all we got to do is press the button and you can see that we're down to about 5.7 <clears throat> and we hold this for three seconds one two three and about 550 is all the volts that we're going to get out of this so this battery is really really not that good this would not be an ideal battery to put into a safe lock now if you give it the original good old test on your tongue it still bites, so you would think that it's still good, but it's not. It's nowhere near any good. Uh, let's test this one here. Okay, we got 6.5 volts. Boom. Push the button, and it goes to sleep. So that means there is no, no power under load. However, if you test this battery, it's still got some shock and some bite to it. So you would not really know. The old tongue test is not really... The best test to have for this really having this test right here is the only way so that battery's a dud uh, that one's a dud here we go we got 7.18 and then we push the button and we're all the way down to 2.9 one two three yep so this battery is also no good junk bad still got some bite in there junk throw it away <clears throat> junk o -matic batteries from you know just the regular from the store just their new batteries just branded under different labels right there we got nine if you can see when we first took it up we got 9.32 push the button give it a give it a load and we are 7.6 7.5 7.50 okay right there so this battery, even though it's not a name brand battery, it's not a Duracell or Energizer battery, this would be a good battery to put into your uh, lock. Now check out, we, everybody talks about different batteries. What's the best kind? Uh, Ryan Taylor's done a tremendous amount of research, which is why he came up with this product to begin with. And uh, look at that. This is brand new right out of the package, guys. Ooh. <clears throat> nothing nothing isn't that crazy so yeah brand new battery doesn't even register so unfortunately there you go so you can't trust just because you pulled it out of the package this was the energizer right out of the package just because you pulled it right out of the package doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean anything at all. A uh, couple other selling points on this is when you come out to go do a safe job, you can pull out a tool. You're pulling out a tool uh, and it looks like you're doing something. If you just come out there and just change the batteries, 
Well, the customer's going to be like, well, what the heck? I could have done that. You're going to charge me 150 bucks to come out and change the batteries. Yeah, you know, you called me. You could have changed them yourself. But now if you pull out a little tool and you start analyzing something and you, you know, you, you look like you're doing something, you look like you're putting forth a little more effort than just going out there and changing a battery, that is going to make them feel better about writing you a check for the bill that you're about to write them. So definitely check one of these out. Highly, highly recommend it. If you're going to do safe work, electronic locks are in the safe industry now. There's no question about it. They've been, they've been around for a while and they are just in everything now. That's what the people want. It's easy to use. They are everywhere. And if you're going to be working on safes, this is going to be a tool that's going to help you do your job better. And to be perfectly honest, this particular tool after after putting one or two brand new batteries in that were in a package, I realized all the batteries in the package were done. They were all dead. One of them, a brand new package, there was a dead battery right in the brand new package and then one right next to it. It worked just fine. So that can save you uh, an entire safe drill just by, just by having this tool. So anyways, check it out. Taylor Technologies, taylortechnologies.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Check out Wayne's Lock Shop. For more information,